Hello, I'm Guinel, Customer Success here at Mixpanel. In today's video, I'm going to try to share some best practices and knowledge around marketplace analytics. We're going to start by introducing what is a marketplace and share a couple of examples of clients that we have here at Mixpanel. Then I'm going to move to share best practices around how to set your analytics for your marketplace. And then we're going to move to how to leverage Mixpanel tool to improve your marketplace platform. Talking about marketplace, we know that we can find marketplace in different verticals in different industries like recruitment, online services, food tech, retail, and much more. For example, at Mixpanel, we have clients that have a marketplace in the ride sharing business like a Burr, Bolt, Freenow, in the resale like Depop, in real estate like Immobiliar IT, uh, VRBO, and also food delivery, for example, like Deliveroo. What we can see there is that some of those clients are B2B marketplace, others are B2C or P2P. Now that we get a better understanding around marketplace, let's talk about how to set the proper analytics for your marketplace. What you have to keep in mind is that you have two customer journey to be concerned with. So that means that you should at least have two analytics framework. Talking about analytics framework, here you can see the mixed panel measurement framework, which is actually uh, a framework that allow you to define what are your main metrics, starting from a focus metric, and then being able to break down these metrics in level one metrics or level two metrics and much more that are aligned on the customer journey. So you're gonna have metrics related to the reach or acquisition, the activation, engagement, retention, and you can also define some business specific metrics uh, to help you really have a holistic understanding of your user journey. So when it comes to marketplace and defining your framework, as we were saying just before, you're gonna have to, uh, to, to focus at least on two customer journey and two frameworks. So let's take an, uh, an example, still on the ride hailing business, you can have a customer journey focus on the drivers and another customer journey focus on the passengers. For an example of focus metric for your driver gonna be daily active drivers, for example, and for the passengers gonna be the weekly ride completers. All right. If we take another example on a searcher provider type marketplace, let's talk about real estate, for example. On the searcher side, a focus metric could be the monthly flat save, savers, actually. And on the provider side, it's going to be the monthly contacted agents. Now that you define your framework, you define all the metrics that's going to matter to you on both customer journey, you're going to be able to define your tracking plan. So from those KPI that you define in your framework, you're going to be able to define what are the events, what are the event properties, what are the user properties that are going to help you to monitor and recreate those KPI in Mixpanel. And that's why I want to share with you some data governance tips because you're going to have to make sure that you are uh, maintaining a clean data from day one and moving forward. One of the first tips could be to implement Mixpanel into one project. So being able to track both your journeys in one project and leverage our data views features to split those two journeys. So you can have only one project with all the tracking on both journeys and being able to create two separate filtered set of data in this project. For example, one on the driver, one on the passenger, if we talk about ride, ride hailing. That can allow you to do cross journey analysis, if that makes sense, and also to be able to create dashboard that you're gonna be able to use in both data views, in both set of data. Another tip, would be to define ownership of each metric of your framework. So you need to define ownership for your rich metric, for your uh, activation, 
engagement and retention. And one best practice that we could give you would be to define as owner a team that can influence and improve this metric because they're going to be able to make sure that the implementation is right to uh, define the goals related to those metrics and they're going to make sure that everybody is aligned on those metrics and the, and, the, and the tracking related. And last but not least, update your implementation. So we know from our client that they are doing optimization of their platform. For example, they can improve their search, they can improve the indexing mechanic, but you need to make sure that you are also updating your implementation while you are improving your, your features. So that way you can get more and more insight on the go while you are trying to improve those features. All right, now let's dive into how you can leverage Mixpanel to improve your marketplace. And I wanted to share a couple of, of uh, best practices of tips, I would say, that you could do. First thing, optimize your time to value. So basically you can use funnels analysis to define what's your main flows and being able to identify what the time to convert. You can compare funnels or do frequency analysis. So that way you're gonna make sure that you are decreasing your time to value for both of your uh, customer journeys. Another good practice would be to define a group of power users. So for that, you need to define what is the success, what success looks like, and create a cohort of successful users. So create a cohort of users that are performing this success. That's gonna help you actually compare those power users to the rest of your users and identify what are the behavior that those power users had that the others didn't have, for example. And last one gonna be to actually use some of our advanced reports to identify what are the behavior that are driving engagement or retention. For example, if you uh, compare your power user and try to understand what are the behavior that they had at week one that make them retain user because poor user can be the most retained user, for example. So you can use signals or other advanced reporting mix panel to identify what behavior you should focus on to drive the rest of your user to become poor user. So I hope that was useful to you and uh, wishing you a good rest of your day.